I've been meaning to make this video for quite a long time and I'm not quite sure why I've always put it off but here it is. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to grow cacti as indoor plants. So these are the three cacti I have in my collection at the moment. Um, very easy to grow obviously. So I grow them on my bedroom windowsill in full sunlight. I get um, full sunlight all day long. Well, as long as there's sunlight in the window. Um, and they do pretty well. This one um, flowers really, really um, often. And it also, the flower is absolutely amazing. They're like this big. However, they don't last Long. So what I find with um, growing cacti is that one of the secrets to their success is, of course, direct sunlight. And that would make sense if you consider where these plants come from, you know, in their natural habitat. Because they come from a place that is dry, it is hot. You know, they're in the blazing sun all day long. So they've really adapted to very harsh growing conditions. And in that um, lies the key to their success. They don't want to be pampered. They don't want to be fussed about. They don't want you checking them every five minutes, you know, to see if they need water. So with these guys, I have them on my windowsill. I water them really when I kind of think of it. I don't have a strict, you know, watering schedule with them. Um, because let's be honest, they can afford to skip a few waterings. But I would say that on average, I give them water about once every two weeks. And then for, for one of those uh, waterings, I also give a bit of fertilizer. And although, you know, I will also concede that cacti have a reputation of being, you know, very easy to care for, they do, you know, also like a little bit of attention. So a little bit of fertilizer will have, have these guys you know, goes a long way and will also help your plant to really thrive, you know, not only survive. Uh, but don't, I think, um, be too precious about them. You know, the, the best thing you can do with your cacti is to really just let it dry, uh, dry out and then you give it some water and it'll be you know fine and i also grow mine in these terracotta containers because terracotta is absolutely a brilliant material for plants that um, need to be on the drier side of life and uh, because it wicks away moisture from the soil and it will also help you in that quest to keep your um, cactus nice and dry. And although cacti are easy uh, plants to care for indoors, they can also be prone to pests, um, especially mealybug um, can, you know, can often go and you know, find itself in between the creases of your cactus plant. So pests, I would say something to look out for, but again, you know, taking a cotton uh, bud or Q-tip and just, you know, dipped in um, a surgical alcohol and just kind of, if you see any mealybug, just take it off with that. You know, that should um, suffice. Um, they're easy, also easy to propagate. You can just remove, um, you know, pieces like on this one, I can actually show you, you can like, like remove this piece or some of the smaller pieces and then you can uh, pot them up into their own individual pots. What I found with, with uh, succulents and with cacti is when you propagate them, it's always best to just leave your like propagation piece um, somewhere, or your cutting, uh, for a day or two so that the wound can kind of callus over because the scar tissue that forms uh, is also great for root development 
and it also serves as a way of preventing rot or any kind of infection uh, getting into the plant when you put it into soil. And I know a lot of people are quite intimidated by the prospect of having to repot a cactus. And so I've actually found that taking an old t-shirt and folding it kind of into like a bandish type of, of like shape and putting it around the cactus and then simply using that as kind of like a lever to kind of take the um, I'm not actually sure if a lever is the right word to use in that sentence, but you know, to use that as your protection as you take the plant out of the pot and then you just simply place your plant into a slightly bigger pot and you fill in with the growing media. And the ideal growing media to use with cacti would be a media that is really fast draining because they really like to and so the ideal media to use with a cactus would be media that's really fast draining because they like to have that fast draining soil and you can mix your own media. You just take some normal potting soil and you mix it with some river sand and with perlite and there you go. You have a brilliant um, cacti and succulent potting media. It's, it's just also worth remembering that even though, you know, cacti are plants that, that I can um, get by with, you know, not a lot, they still need some nutrition in their potting, you know, mimic. So you can't only use sand. You don't really need something else in there to give them some nutrition. So this has been a quick and easy look into how you can care for your cactus plant as an indoor plant um, and I hope that I will see you in my next video which will come out next week and yeah I will see you there bye